Hey guys, Codeboy32 here. Check it out. Got some VZ grips. This is their frag design. These are going to go on my Canic 55 Compact. Stand by. Good morning, guys. Codeboy32 here. Check it out. Got my coffee. Got my Yeti cup here. <laughs> Getting ready to do a little comparison with this guy with the Arctic cup here in the near future. But in any case, let's talk about what we have in hand. As you many, many of you know, if you've seen the video I just previously did, this is the TriStar C100 in 9mm. This is a great little pistol very much looking forward to uh, carrying this on a day-to-day -day basis and it's going to go into a DeSantis soft tuck and waistband so that'll be a good test for both the uh, waistband or the uh, soft tuck which I've usually carried that with the uh, the Walther PK380 not a big fan of the PK380 it's a good gun just uh, you got to practice with the thing to make sure that you know what it's done it's not fail safe that's the problem I have with it but anyway let's talk about this guy right here VZ grips. Now these things are made in the USA. A lot of guys you know about these things right here. These are the CZ75 Frag Black Gray Combat. I don't know what. Alright, so VZ grips are proudly manufactured in the US using raw materials and machinery made right here in the US soil. If you should have questions regarding our products, feel free to contact us at vzgrips.com. There's also a telephone number right there. So it's really nice that they provide you with all this stuff. But anyway, talking about G10, this is talking about the finest materials, uh, the finest micarta and G10 grips on the planet. These particular grips are made of a G10 material. And a lot of people have asked what the G10 material is. And I'm gonna provide a link down below so you can do a little research on your own. But anyway, G10 material is a glass product and it's that's it basically that's it, it is that's what it is and it's a comp glass composite it's very very rough i mean very tough and can uh, be used in a wide different they use this on uh, knives on everything else all right so let's talk about the grips here if you y'all can check out the link down below i'm not going to get into the details on that thing uh these guys right here this is their frag design and basically it is to look just like a i don't know hand grenade maybe i don't know frag out baby so in any case, uh, very nice colors that uh, these things come in about 10 different colors and get these on Amazon for 75 bucks. What I do is I like to try to uh, combine my points purchases with these guys right here. This is how I got the last ones. But uh, in any case, out the door, you're probably $75 plus tax and whatever. If you got a prime membership, you're out, out the door for a lot less than that. So that's the frag design. Now talk about in comparison with the diamond back design like this. The Diamondbacks are so aggressive right here that if you try to wear these on the end of waistband or against bare skin, you're going to have some issues, boys and girls. But anyway, this frag design is probably a little bit more conducive to that, a lot less aggressive. They do have some grab, but not like these bad boys right here. I swear to God, you could probably sand wood with that. But uh, <laughs> in any case, that would be the difference if you can check that out real quickly. You got these damn... So if I can get that to zoom in so you can see the rows of points on that. Really, really aggressive. There you go. All right, so anyway, back to it. There it is. That's the frag design. That's the diamondback design. Uh, in the future, I will probably go with this one. I've got the, uh, the SP01 on the way. And then, guys, the VZ97 shall be mine. <laughs> All I can do is tell you that. Anyway, solid gentleman. I'll put his post below. He's got a really cool video on that thing. Damn thing is absolutely amazing. So anyway, let's do this. Do before shots there and afterwards. Now, it's interesting that a lot of people have had issues with these things going on straight. And they always blame it on the gun. Where there was a one gentleman who actually had the uh, VZ grips and would not go on his CZ. I found that to be really, really peculiar simply because, uh, you know, they may go on this one, they may go on that one. There's machinery involved. You would hope that they would be all the same, but unfortunately not a lot of times they are. Uh, on the on this particular one, one of the holes didn't line up exactly correctly. All I had to do was just raise this up, sink the uh, screw down, and just let it tighten itself down onto it. So what I'm really interested in seeing is if the fit and finish is as tight on this one as it is on this guy right here all right so the first thing you want to do you need to get yourself a good screwdriver all right so this is a very nice tip that goes in here it will fit completely inside the grooves on this thing so let's go ahead and bring it on in a little bit there you go 
go. So now we can see what's going on here. Let's see how these things fit. Not bad so far. Does the hole do the holes in the screws line up perfectly? So you don't want to try to use the reason you want to use a good screwdriver is you don't want to mar that screw up. It's a good looking gun, let's keep it that way. Don't over torque your screws. Never do that. Super that lucky on the next side here. If they're machined properly, they should work just fine. That's a, look at that. Isn't that cool? That's a neat advertisement. Hold on. I've never seen a set of VZ grips from that angle, huh? That is cool. Let's do a screenshot of that. Alright, let's go ahead and put this thing on. Get lucky this time. Let's see. I'll be damned. Right in the hole, baby. All right. So, okay, so there's an issue here. I'm gonna get that clamped in. I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna back that out of here. Slight gap right there. Hold on, get that out of the way. See, there it is. See that? I'm like, over, well, there's one over there. I can live with it. All right, well, basically, guys, that is it. She's finished and done. I think that just adds so much to the firearm itself. We'll go ahead and take these grips and put them back into the VZ box, put them into the storage where they need to be. That's it, man. VZ Frag. These are the black and gray. They do offer these in about 10 different colors, 10 different variations, and they are damn gorgeous. You guys take a look at that, man. That is absolutely breathtaking. It just adds so much to that firearm. Not even funny. The one thing I may do is just take my grinder and grind that leading edge down. See how those went down to almost a zero. These grips have an edge. So that's not the firearm is the issue, that's the that's the edge on the grip itself. Man, it's pretty. I don't care what you say. All right, guys, that being said, go to Boy32, support your boys in blue, and as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. So go to Boy32, out.